Cherkin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I rise in opposition to House Bill 4122. I believe this message is sending a wrong message to all businesses who want to come to Michigan and those who would bring other movie projects here to provide job opportunities for Michigan residents. I do not understand the need for this legislation when just months ago the previous legislation who are mostly are still here passed a bill that would phase out the film incentive program by 2021. Now literally three months later we the legislature are now saying that despite what was passed in December we must eliminate the tax incentive program altogether now and end the job prospects for many Michigan residents who are currently employed by the film industry. Some say the industry is full of transient workers. Well, the reason for that is because we keep changing the rules of the game. If there was a more consistent set of incentives and funding, more movie projects would come to Michigan and those employees would continuously be involved in making these movies like in Georgia. Georgia started out the same as we are and they're making movies year round. They're a farm club for our people. We train them up here with our movies and then they go down there for continuous work because we have none. And I want to respect, I don't have any movie analogies, but the Avengers movie by Marvel was their number one movie and it left and went to Ohio when all this started. The executive budget recommendation calls for this film tax incentives to remain in place and I, Mr. Speaker, agree. If we want to continue to diversify our state's economy and build up a workforce that is permanent, we must not support this bill. I urge my colleagues on both sides to oppose this legislation and let the changes made last year have time to be implemented. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.